What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing? Quick video about ask yourself not knowing how to take an L, not being able to take a loss. Being a very highly functioning individual and yet so stuck in his ideology, well, he can't see the forest from the trees, basically. Anyway, I'm going to recap basically some of the same concepts I did in my review of the debate between Ask Yourself and Jay Dyer, except this time in the form of a response to Ask Yourself's video, because he will clearly well, make my point for me, basically. Check it out. Okay, so this is just going to be a very quick video explaining why Jay Dyer doesn't comprehend basic logic. So the other day, Richard and I debated Jay and Tristan. It started off with Tristan trying to talk about the grounding for ethical claims and me pointing out that the question of grounding is orthogonal to the question of logical consistency. Okay, right off the bat, he's being dishonest because that's not how the debate started. The debate did not start with Tristan wanting to talk about metaethics, as you will soon find out. It started out with... Vegan Gaines wanting to talk about ethics in general. So let's just play that clip back. If you guys uh, want to get started, uh, why do you think it's uh, okay to kill and eat animals? Why do you think it's okay to kill and eat animals, right? Let's talk about ethics right off the bat. Ain't that what he did? <laughs> Isn't veganism and ethical ideology that concerns itself with the ethics? Uh, surrounding the the so-called exploitation of animals. Why is it okay to kill and eat animals? Well, I, I think a better way... So, Vegan Gaines clearly wants to have an ethical debate. That's what these soy nerds, as Tristan calls them, that's, that's, that's all that they're about, right? Ethical debate. Ethical veganism. Debate the ethics of veganism, bro. And Tristan says, okay, well, you want to talk about ethics, let's talk about our ethical system, because I have an ethical system that's different than yours. He doesn't say this exactly, but this would have come out had they gone in that direction. To approach it would be, I mean, if you're making the claim that veganism is morally and ethically right, I think... Maybe that's your ethical system. Where we should start is where do we derive... Where, how do we know what is morally and ethically right or wrong? Let's talk about my ethical system. Right? Let's see if we could find some common ground as to what's ethical, what's unethical. What's wrong with that in an ethical debate? Absolutely nothing, right? So we're having a very logical debate so far. I think that's kind of the, uh, okay. where we need to start. That's whoa, whoa. <laughs> and they just freak out, right? Because, well, I think... This is just my opinion. Uh, they're not ethical people, and they know this. Jesus. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not getting immediately derailed into meta-ethics. No fucking... I'm not getting immediately derailed into meta-ethics. Well, if you are getting derailed, if that's how you see it, then Vegan Gains derailed you, right? That's, that's your boy. Okay, so, so what we want to talk about right off the bat. What we want to talk about right off the bat, right? <laughs> he just made vegan gains his bitch, basically. Is you have an ethical system in place already. You have an ethical system in place already, right? Still talking about ethics. What we want to see is if veganism is a logically consistent extension of that system. Talking about... We want to see if veganism and ethical ideology is a logical extension of that ethical system that you have, right? We want to use logic to question your ethics. Because, see, this is the problem. This is where the friction started. The atheist, in this case, their meta-ethical system is based in logic. They use logic to define what's ethical, right? To answer the deeper questions about what is good, what is bad, what it means, right? 
they use logic to get there. And that's exactly what he just demonstrated, right? This is his desire is to frame the debate. Talk about how we define ethics. No, 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 no. We're not getting dragged down into how you define ethics, what's ethical. Even though I want to question your ethical system, we're going to put it to the test of our ethical system, right? This is there this is a uh, uh, orthogonal <laughs> their, <laughs> their ethical systems in this case right the theists and the atheists they're orthogonal or in other words they're not parallel right they arrive at what's ethical differently so ask yourself is talking about meta ethics while at the same time saying he's not he doesn't want to get dragged down into a meta ethical discussion because once again, atheists use logic to define what's ethical, right? And he's talking about ethics and logic and how they're intertwined. Yet at the same time, he will say that logic and ethics are orthogonal. Look, if communication really is the key, why use such an obscure word such as orthogonal, a term that's derived from geometry, basically, mathematics. Unless you're trying to be obtuse. Grounding for that system. So you don't want to debate. Okay, so my claim is very straightforward. Tristan cut me off at the end there, but if you listen, you can actually hear what I'm saying while he's cutting me off. And the word that I'm saying while he's cutting me off is orthogonal. So my claim is that the question of how your ethics are grounded is orthogonal to the question of whether your ethics are logically consistent. Except... The way he grounds ethics is in logical consistency, right? Because once again, if your ethics are not logically consistent, you have a self-refuting ethical system, meaning that your ethical system is unethical. If it ain't logical, it ain't ethical. All this time he's talking about meta-ethics while saying he doesn't want to talk about meta-ethics. Why? Well, because he's logically inconsistent. Now, this is an extremely basic point that you'd have to be totally logically illiterate to not comprehend. Yet, Jay fought me on it for a long-ass time. So, I'll explain it... Because I say so. ...for the idiots out there, okay? And if you disagree with me, you're just an idiot. You're not as smart as I am. Orthogonal. If your ethical system affirms that P and not P, your ethical system contains a logical contradiction. That is just what a contradiction is, okay? A contradiction is the affirmation of a proposition and its negation. There's nothing more to it. He says, if there's a logical contradiction in your system, there's nothing more to it. And yet he will go on using that logical contradiction to say that your ethical system leads to veganism, right? An ethical ideology. But it, there's nothing more to it, though. It just, ha your system has a contradiction and there's nothing more to it, though. I mean, come on. Really? If I affirm that it's true that cats fly and it's false that cats fly, I have just created a logical contradiction. That is just what a contradiction is. Now, the question of grounding, which is the question of how are we able to make these claims, that is completely orthogonal to the fact that once the claims are made, if any two of those claims are proposition and negation, there's a contradiction, okay? So... That's not true because, for example, in order to be able to determine whether a cat is flying or not, you have to define what you mean by flying. Is the cat flying on its own? Or, you know, I could toss a cat through the air and it'll be flying too, right? So yeah, you have to, uh, it, it could be a contradiction, but you have to define what you mean by a cat flying, just like you have to define what you mean by what's ethical. What is an ethical? Meta-ethics, right? <laughs> but we're, we're idiots. If you disagree, you're an idiot. So basically what he's saying is the definition of flying is irrelevant to what you mean when you say the cat is flying or the cat isn't flying. And yet, 
implied in the word flying is the definition of flying. It only becomes a contradiction once we specifically nail down what we mean by flying, once we ground flying. So let's go to morality. It doesn't matter if you think that moral statements are grounded in the will of God, in some non- It doesn't matter if you think that moral statements are grounded in the will of God. Well, that's too bad, homie, that you feel this way, because to the theist, that's the number one fact when it comes to talking about morality. To them, it very much matters. And if you want to judge their ethical framework, well, you have to work from within their ethical framework. You can't say it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to you, even though it does, because you're logically incoherent. But if for them, sure matters to them, because they're logically consistent. And they're telling you it matters to you also. Ask yourself, he's not making any sense. He doesn't know how to take a nail. He's going to sit there in front of his echo chamber and just repeat the same BS ad nauseum using big words that none of, his, none of the people in his audience understand. But they'll just sit there like a bunch of dummies, nodding their heads because, well, veganism for the win. Didn't I tell you guys that all you have to do is slap that vegan label on it and it doesn't have to make any sense. It could be self-refuting and contradictory, hypocritical. It doesn't have to taste good. It could smell like fucking natto. And these clowns will eat that shit up. Why? Well, because veganism for the win. It's not a philosophy. It's an ideology. And as such, it's useless. It's worthless. And it doesn't make any sense. And neither do you, Isaac. You're logically inconsistent. Your ideology is incoherent. And you got your head stuck so far up your ass, you definitely can't see the forest from the trees. Anyway, that's all I got to say. Take it easy.